Good morning, ladies and gents. Happy New Year. January 2nd, 2020, new decade, new year. I was going to write an email to you guys uh, with a couple of updates for uh, trades. I'm going to do a quick video instead. I'm going to make this short, I promise. Um, and I hope everybody had a good new year. Hope everybody's got some big goals for the next, you know, 12 months or so, because I do. And I think that um, within reason, they could be blown out of the water, um, meaning reasonable goals will be blown out of the water. So I would encourage you guys to, you know, stretch yourself, stretch, stretch a bit more than you normally would, simply because conditions are telling us to do so. Um you know, there's no reason to blindly beat a drum or, you know, be as bullish as I am right now. I, I don't need to do that. I mean, there's been times when I've been very, uh, very cautious about what was going to occur. Um, and now it's just a different ball game. It's a completely different ball game. And really what everything is telling us is that we're about to go into a very, very strong part of the bull cycle in gold, silver, and precious metals and stocks. Um, mining stocks. So act accordingly. You know, listen, I mean, when you are when you're in a bear market and you you don't see the end of the the light at the end of the tunnel, it's prudent to do things slowly, to be very very particular, to pick your spots and put in stink bids and hold back. And you know, we've been in the for the bulk of the last 9 years. That's the environment that we've been in. And so even if this type of thing happens for people for a year or six months, it's easy to get lulled into recency bias, which I talk about a lot, which is that our most recent experience is going to then become uh, the same in the future. And in the markets, you can't do that because you have to be on your heels and you need to anticipate when things are changing, when, they, when they've changed, uh, when they're about to change. And when you've got that long of a backdrop, some of you are still living in 2010 and 11. You know, you're clinging onto this sector by your fingernails, the last five of you in the world that haven't dumped out already and are, you know, thinking in terms of you have losses from then and, you know, can you get back to break even? You need to smash that mentality with a bat. It's about getting greedy right now. You should be greedy. You should be thinking that after all this time, whatever price I've paid, I'm about to flourish. And you're not going to get there. And you are not going to get there by being passive at a time when the market suggests that we need to be aggressive. I've been saying this for months. So Hopefully, you know, the bulk of you, certainly those of you that are, are new may not have had this uh, level of conviction pounded into you. But the folks that have been here in 2019 certainly realize and have had many, many opportunities. If you wanted to go along with my viewpoint, if you align with my viewpoint uh, to get very, very long okay, in the sector, it's not too late. But look, you know, when these things start popping. It's very difficult. Like I said, the biggest question I'm going to get going forward is, is XYZ still a buy? Should I still buy XYZ? Because it's going to be up so much and you'll miss it. And then you'll still say, should I buy it? And that makes my life very difficult because that's not the ideal time to be doing things is chasing stocks after they've moved. I mean, we all have situations where money frees up. You know, maybe we don't have cash at the best times and, you know, we have to deal with what we have to deal with. So we're going to roll with it and I'm going to roll with you guys. But if you're capable, if you're if you're liquid, uh, you know, you should be relatively long right now and, and looking to deploy aggressively. Not just right this moment, but certainly picking your spots on some of the juniors that have not yet moved yet. And on that first and this isn't even the first pullback. This is going to be the first pullback after the big pullback from the first rip, which was over the last few months. We had things pause. We had this nice pull in gold that after it went to 1550, came all the way back down to the 1400 level. And this was the opportunity. This was the, that was the first pullback. Now, the second pullback is going to be another micro window. It's not going to be as long. It's not going to be even as deep, 
But that's going to be your time that if you have your eye on certain producers, you're going to want to pluck it off and put those positions on. And you also want to do it sooner than you normally would like to in a bear market, because in a bear market, yeah, you can get filled at, say, a 20 percent pullback or a 15 percent pullback in a first majestic in a bull market that's about to rock and roll and rip your face off. You don't have that luxury. You're lucky if you get a 5 percent retracement. So keep these things in mind, guys. It's very, 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 very important to read the conditions that we're in and to act appropriately. We don't have the luxury of doing things like we've done for the bulk of the last eight to nine years in a crap, terrible, horrid mining and metals market. The risk is being underinvested at this time. That said, let's move along to an actionable idea that all of you can get involved in at a very cheap price 